Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, we're going to continue with the fiscal uh, stabilization uh, policy under the Keynesian model. So what we plan to do is that uh, we're going to see what happens when the government decided to increase their expenditure and fund it by, uh, by, by uh, through an increase in in tax okay um, so let's just uh, let me just get my whiteboard to be ready okay so this is from our previous uh, discussion okay um, so what we plan to do in this video is to discuss the fiscal uh, stabilization policy so this is simply a continuation of what we have discussed before okay so Now, based on our previous discussion, okay, it seems that uh, under the Keynesian framework, the government can use their fiscal policy to stabilize the economy. Okay, so uh, this is because uh, so there are these two tools that are available to the government: change in government expenditure, as well as the change, okay, in the tax, will basically affect okay, uh, the equilibrium income. So these are the two fiscal policy instruments. Okay, the fiscal policy instruments that can be used to stabilize okay, to stabilize the equilibrium income okay whenever there is a shock okay in the in the economy so let's say as always uh, we uh, the, the Keynesian economists okay they point out that investment okay would be the uh, more very prone to, to to shocks in the economy so let's say that there is a shock okay in investment uh, where um let's assume okay because of the current uh, covid okay pandemic so there is a um, uh, all businesses uh, have a kind of a pessimistic future they don't really predict that they're going to do well so that's why many firms uh, decided to withhold or to decrease okay so there's there is a drop in in investment component okay in the investment component so let's say this is the uh, initial condition so we always so let's start with the initial condition y, y bar. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the same notation as in your textbook, so P. So this is the, the, the initial, okay, uh, initial uh, equilibrium income, which equals to, in the equilibrium, it should equal to the expenditure. So we have C plus I0 plus G0. Okay, and uh, let's say there is a shock. So what is this shock? So let's say there is a drop in investment, okay, from I0 to I1, okay, to I1. So let's say um, due to a drop in the expected profit, okay, because of the pandemic, okay, because of the pandemic. So many firms are having a uh, not really uh, predict that uh, they're going to be able to make uh, profit uh, a lot uh, in the near future. So that's why uh, many of them decided to uh, reduce their uh, investment. Okay? Now, if the government uh, doesn't do anything, so what's going to happen is that, so if, if this has taken place, if the government okay, uh, uh, didn't do anything, okay, uh, doesn't does not do anything. Okay, in other words, there is no policy action. Then what gonna happen is that our aggregate demand, okay, the aggregate demand would then falls okay to EL. Okay, to EL, a lower EL. So this is basically let's just um, you know as always we're gonna have um, our graphs here okay, where we measure uh, income okay on the horizontal axis okay and here we're going to have c i g the components of aggregate expenditure okay and here we're going to have the injections and the leakages so we have i g s and t and this is our 45 degree line which is the equilibrium condition okay and uh, let's say the, the the this is our original okay our original um, aggregate expenditure line which is ep okay which equals to 
uh, C plus I0 plus G0. Okay. And this is our initial equilibrium income. Okay. Wipe up. And I need it to, to, to have the corresponding uh, equilibrium here. Okay. Y bar P. And uh, our, let's say this is my, uh, our original okay, condition of um, I0 plus G0. Okay. And I need to then uh, draw a nice line that crosses somewhere here. Okay, looks good. S plus T zero. Okay, S plus T. Oh, let me just put it S plus T there first. Okay, um, so when there is a shock in investment, okay, when there is a shock in investment, okay, we're going to basically have a drop okay, in, the, in, in investment from I zero to I one. So let's say this is EL. Okay, we now our uh, plus G0. Okay, if the government doesn't do anything, okay, investment gonna drop. Okay, so there is uh, a change. So this is the this whole shift is represented by the change in investment, the drop in investment. So now our new equilibrium, okay, will be YL where there is a drop here okay due to a drop in investment okay and similarly our uh, investment schedule will drop okay it will be somewhere i don't have enough um, space here it doesn't really correspond so let me just uh, try to do some correction a bit here as i need it i need the line to cross uh, in order to be the uh, the equilibrium Okay, so let me just do a little bit of correction here. So this is, let's say, this is our new I1 plus G0. Okay, so correspondingly, the saving schedule should be crossing somewhere here. Okay. So this is uh, our new equilibrium. Okay, we should correspond to this point here. So this is our YL. Okay, Y bar L. It says uh, drop in equilibrium income, okay, which is caused by the drop in investment. Okay, the drop in investment. Okay, now if the government doesn't do anything, if the government doesn't do anything, then the, of course we the economy gonna end up at a lower equilibrium income. Now let's say the government decided to restore, okay, to restore equilibrium. Okay, at Y bar P, the original uh, equilibrium. So what should the government do? So let's say the government decided to increase the government expenditure. They start, they want to spend okay, more from G0 to G1. Okay, from G0 to G1. So if the government does this, okay, if the government does this, now uh, when the government increases okay, their expenditure, Okay, so our aggregate expenditure would then move back. Okay, so from uh, from point from so this is the original uh, equilibrium, and then we have uh, the new equilibrium. If the government doesn't do anything, okay, A and B, okay, A and B. So now, if the government decided, okay, that they want to spend, okay, from G zero to G one. So this would then shift, okay, this would then shift. Okay, let me just use, um, I use, uh, it will shift this, okay, graph back up. Okay, so initially it went down, sorry. So initially it went down because of the uh, fall in investment, okay, because of the fall in investment. Now the graph will go back. Okay, our aggregate expenditure will go back up because of the increase in the government spending. Okay, the positive increase in government spending. So this would then push our aggregate expenditure schedule back to equilibrium A. Okay, so this okay, it will go back. 
because of the now the red arrow is because of the change in government expenditure due to change in government expenditure okay so where this ep is now represent representing the new higher government expenditure plus i1 which is lower than i0 but then we are having a higher government expenditure so that's why our aggregate uh, expenditure schedule went back up and similarly here it will go back up okay because our uh, government expenditure okay has gone up okay has gone up so um, this is basically how uh, the government can use okay uh, uh, the the government spending okay as the policy tool to stabilize equilibrium income so that the shock any shock that happens in the economy like in this example which uh, originates from a uh, fall in the investment component okay it can uh, correct this and make sure that uh, the equilibrium income is not disturbed okay and we can get back our original uh, income level okay now uh, besides using government expenditure of course the other um, uh, option available would be to to reduce tax isn't it uh, to reduce tax but okay based on our previous discussion we know that if the government decide to reduce tax they would need they would need to basically reduce it by a bigger amount a okay, bigger amount because of the leakage okay because of the leakage in terms of savings uh, in terms of saving whenever the government reduces uh, uh, the marginal income tax so household going to end up having uh, more disposable income but we know that they will not spend everything a portion of it they will simply save so it depends on the size of the marginal propensity to consume so that is why if the government decide to use uh, this tool reduction in tax they will have to reduce it by a bigger amount compared to uh, uh, the increase in a government expenditure okay so i think uh, that's all uh, for now uh, inshallah i'll see you again in other videos assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh